Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and this is Megan. Hi. And we are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. So it is gloriously autumn here and that means it's nearly time to put this garden to bed. What I'm hoping to do is get the beans out of there today and make some space for where we're going to put in the garlic in a week or so. Um, they've really slowed down. The plants are getting super fragile when you go to harvest beans. It's time. It's time to get them out of there. And the plan is that in a few weeks, once we've put most of the garden to bed, we're going to run the chickens in there. And in order to run the chickens in there, we need to get the beans out because chickens can't eat uncooked legumes, um, seems to be the, the word from the chicken books and from the internet. So those have got to leave the garden area before we can run chickens in there. So come on in, let me show you what's going on. All right, so this is the state of the beans. And you're looking at this, I'm sure, and you're going, no, no, that's squash. That's because the squash has grown into the beans. So that's what we're gonna pull out today. And we're gonna have to be kind of careful because there's all kinds of stuff going. You can see there's butternut vines, there's acorn squash vines, there's pumpkin vines. So we're gonna be working around that today and pulling those out, do a last bean harvest and then we'll be able to plant some garlic in there. Yeah, that was easy. Came right up. Oh, uh, yuck. The whole thing yuck? Uh, yeah, it's, no. it's done, you know? Like this is what starts happening at the end. It's just everything's really fragile. It breaks apart real easy when you go to pick them. Look at all this mycorrhizal. Inoculant oh. that's going on here. That's pretty great. Oh, we got a bean. And just a bunch of little tinies. Boom. Yeah. I think we can just rip these out. Okay. Yeah. Look at those. Yeah, got some are... some beans. Yeah, we got a little bit, a little handful. See, the whole thing is, uh -huh. it breaks right off when you, mm. yeah, it's the end of the be the beans. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so that's okay, we'll can these. Well, some of them. Right. <laughs> so you can see the, the little white bits in there. That's some mycorrhizal inoculant. You can see how well it did by the roots. You can see the little nodules <clears throat> on the ground. That That's the good stuff. That means you've got some mycorrhizal business going on in the soil. the beans and there is plenty of room now plenty of room for garlic okay these butternuts look ready let's grab these folks just a little bit of green on the bottom but that can finish in the windowsill and then this little guy this little guy is ready too couple of lovely butternuts. That one over there is not quite ready yet. Not quite ready. And there is also this mystery squash. Don't know what it is. Uh, it's got a field spot on the back, so it's ready, whatever it is. It could be 
pumpkin. It could be spaghetti squash. We will find out. Moved the beans and found a pumpkin. At least we think it's a pumpkin. These are the Brussels sprouts and you can see the loopers. They just, darn cabbage loopers never went away this season. So they've been decimating my brassicas. In spite of it all, there are Brussels sprouts growing in there. And I'm hoping to have at least a dinner's worth. Still have a ton of tomatillos coming in. We're gonna clear these out over the next week or so and put up some more of that <laughs> and put up some more of that roasted salsa verde. Got a pretty good harvest of tomatillos. Look at all these tomatillos. Oh, there's a bunch of shishitos over here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, hello, friend. There you are. And then there was another one. Little one. Is there more? The noodle beans are coming in. They're filling this trellis all the way up to the top. And I don't think we're actually going to see beans out of it this year. I think it's too late in the season for these beans. Um, We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to leave them until the very last minute. It's a lot. Does it look like it's making seeds? I've got these guys up for the birds. Yeah. <clears throat> and they're almost emptied, most of them. Yeah, the birds and the uh, squirrels and chipmunks like them. You know who else really likes them? The chickens? Bitsy. She does. Bitsy freaking loves the sunflower, sunflower seeds. And she likes them off the head. Look at the size of that. That's a nice... Look at the size of that. No, it's not. There's no meat in that. Oh, no. Look. I can eat them. Oh, look. Yeah, the little tiny holes. Yep. Does that one have a seed? This one had no seed in it. This, this one... Has a seed that started to get eaten. Uh-huh. Tiny little worms. Oops. Oh, no! There it is. This happened last year too, the, yeah. the bigger sunflowers. They get these little tiny holes in them. Oh yeah, these are all. And so there's, there are wee beasties that get to the, the insides and there's eat up the kernel. Ones. This one, they started to do it a munch, but they didn't quite finish their snack. Perfect. Oh, ha, 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 look at that. Look at that. Nothing got to that one. Maybe we should cut this down and just feed it to them. Yeah. 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 Woohoo. I'm going to pull the whole thing out, but uh, yeah. we're only going to give them the top chunk. Here, I got this. Oh, oh, I don't got this. <laughs> ah! Oh, wow. It's got bug damage all the way through. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, all right. Oh. Yeah. Let me just... oh, there you go. Oh. All right. There's a starter. Some meat to the birds. There. Perfect. All right. Let's get it to the birds. Who would like a snack? You can see the squirrels have gone to town 
the birds have visited. There's nothing left inside these sunflowers. So we're gonna pull those today too. So this is the former potato patch. And will you look at these beauties? Look at these pretty, pretty mushrooms. So many. I'm so impressed with them. They're just super pretty. And sweet potatoes look pretty close to ready. Um, we're getting a little bit of yellowing. Honestly, I'm going to try and wait until I see frost on our radar and then that week I want to come out and pull them. Let them go as long as they possibly can. So the brassicas are doing okay. Um, there just isn't that much going on. We don't have a lot of sunlight right now, so more or less, I'm just looking at you, bok choy. I'm looking at you, bok choy. Couple of tomatoes still going. We'll see what happens with that. Um, but man, I know the next project is gonna be those tomatillos. So came out for beans, came to grab the eggs, also tomatillos, squash, eggplants, some peppers, so many good things. We should have enough peppers and tomatillos to do another batch of the roasted salsa verde. So that'll be a fun project for this weekend. So we've got a great space over there ready for garlic. We'll be putting that in the next week or two. Um, or we may even put it in just right after first frost. Um, I keep getting distracted by the chickens. They're really distracting. My chickens are super cute. For prehistoric beings. They're dinosaurs. Yes, I know. They're They're, you can tell. Abs you're dinosaurs, my friends. All right, so the garden is... <laughs> All right, so we got the beans out. Beans out. Beans out. The beans oh. are... Done. Out. They're done. They're done. Gone. They're gone. <laughs> so we got the beans out and the garden is ready to receive that garlic that we're going to plant over the next few weeks and hopefully partition off so that when we run the chickens through there, they won't get involved in my nonsense. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out today with us while we got that done and taking a peek at the, at what's left of the garden for now. We will catch you up soon. Take care. Bye. What are you eating, buddy? Dirt? I like dirt. Okay, worm. Nom nom nom. Noms. <laughs>